Hi, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Bowman uh, Baseball Sapphire Edition. Pick your team number 16. A little bit of break credit at the end. So 16 sold out after 17. Here we go. So there it is on the 8th right there. Fred with last spot mojo here with the Astros. Thanks for getting in. Any insight how many sapphires are left? Uh, I originally thought... Not a lot, but there there were there were sapphires stacked in front of sapphires, and when I uh, took out a box, I was like, "What? There's more sapphires behind sapphires?" So I think we'll have up to break. What are we on? I think we've got this 18. So, so we got 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 20. Maybe up to break 27, maybe? 25 or 27? Something like that. Just kind of eyeballing it. So, yeah. So... 18 is already sold out, and I think 19 and 20 were just posted about an hour ago. I think half the league is gone already for the, both of those breaks. Um, so after the ones on the site, we'll, I mean, the sooner we sell them out, the sooner we'll add more. Maybe we might save a few for a mixer or two, something like that. But yeah, I think we have a, a few more, at least, after the ones you already see on the site. Jason Dominguez. That's for Aaron Tooley and the Yankees. And out of 75, Tarek Skubal for the Tigers. Tigers, that'll be for Ryan H. Yeah, and the Yankees probably went fast as Brandon. Yeah, probably. Does not surprise me. Maybe we should have priced the Yankees higher. All right, and a Targ Scooball, Scooball autograph. Scooball? Scooball? I wish he has a pitch. I wish he has a pitch he calls the Scooball. Man. I really want that to happen. I really want him to say, "Yeah, I've got a unique grip on a on my uh, two seamer. You know, I hold it back a little bit differently. I call it the scoo ball." All right, and there's Bobby Witt Jr. So Ryan H. with that scoo ball autograph. Royals, Jason Reardon with Kansas City. Next box. Luis Robert, White Sox. That's going to be for David Sitko.
And behind Ryan Mountcastle is a Philly, Damon Jones, 50 out of 50 for Joseph C. and the Philadelphia Phillies. All right, there's Grant Little to 20. of doing something that I've never done in my entire life is to, well, aside from buying a Nintendo Switch, I have never purchased an actual game console. I don't really play a lot of video games. The Switch was mostly just to play Mario Kart when I'm traveling, but can't do that anymore. Well, I still play Mario Kart. So with with pandemic, stuck indoors a lot more often. Thinking about getting a uh, video game system console, a, a box, a video game box, game box. So, do I go with a PlayStation, or do I go with? Uh, in an Xbox. Are we a PlayStation family or an Xbox family? I don't need a PS5. Ben says wait for the PS5? There's Josiah Gray for my Dodgers. Oh, they're Bobby Wood Jr. Nice. Royals. That'll be for Jason. Max says Xbox all the way. Brandon says PS5 all the way. Xbox is trash. John's going to sell me the Xbox. Love both, but PlayStation says Daniel Ruiz. So your kids barely... Do they play the PlayStation more? I did watch the PS5 release video, but you're talking to a person that doesn't really do, uh, do console games, right? The games I play are... They have numbers and shapes and... Kings and Queens on them. Those are the games I play. There's Eric Rivera. But, Sitco says just get a PS3 if you don't really care too much about having the latest. I really don't. I just need to play, I just need to play uh, NASCAR <laughs> Heat 5, which is coming out soon. I'm in a NASCAR mood. There's Eric Rivera for the Angels. Steve Wong with that. And, uh, And maybe uh, what else? What else do I want to play? Maybe like a, a World War II related Call of Duty. I don't like the modern warfare stuff. Not into it. I like I like running around in the fields of France with a uh, M1. And a yeah, maybe a, a pistol. Doesn't Call of Duty have like a, a World War II version that they released a few years ago? But yeah, I think I could deal with a PS3 or even, even a PS4. I don't think I need a, a PS... I mean, if I get to a, the point where I'm playing a PS4... And then I'm like, oh, I need that clear upgrade. But can I just wait until like a PS... I could probably wait until like a PS6. You know? So I think I'll be, I think I'll be okay. Ooh, a $5,000 gaming computer. I don't know if I'll do that. But if I had $5,000 to spend on something gaming-wise, Joey Bart reveals a Grant Levine, 8 out of 15. I would buy a... Uh, 
an iRacing rig and try to become uh, a professional iRacer. Aussie says, PS4, great for my situation. All right. I'm assuming the prices will go down, right, once 5 comes out? Also, because of the pandemic, everyone has that idea. I think everyone's been buying up those systems. Grant Levine goes to the... I, can't, I can barely find them at Best Buy. Uh, Joseph. It's Joseph C. with the rocks. All right, the autograph is for the A's, Gus Varlin. Get off the bus, Gus. No need to be coy, Roy. Four out of 50. Aaron Tooley with the Oakland A's. There's a Bobby Witt Jr. for the Royals, Jason. I don't know. I don't have any Bobby songs for you. Does Gus look like the bad kid in Toy Story? <laughs> Poor Gus. Maybe. He kind of does. You know who... Uh, Sam Darnold looks like the kid in uh, Incredibles 1. Sean, we've had like a Dominguez, a break. Nearly every break. What's that, what's that guy? Uh, what's his name in Incredibles? Incredibles 1. But yeah, Sam Darnold. No, no, no. Da Dash is the son. who tells his mom by saying everyone's special is just another way of saying nobody's special. And I was, I was like, Dash, you're right. Yeah, I'm saying Sam Darnold looks like the villain in that movie. <laughs> Syndrome, right, right, right. What's his birth name? What's his Christian name? Syndrome, right. Another Bobby Wood Jr. for Jason. Buddy? That was that his name? Buddy, Buddy Pine. Yeah, look up Sam Darnold, look up that character. There's Tristan Houses. And Christian Robinson to 75. Is that a new blog that we're gonna we're gonna do? A new video blog, John Samuelson? Pro athletes who look like Pixar characters? There's Connor Cannon. How many millions of views would I get? I feel like I would, I, would, I would get more views than I do on this channel. I'd be like a YouTube star slash influencer. Every week feature a new pro athlete that looks like a, <laughs> that looks like a Pixar character. All right, and there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give away some money. Connor Cannon, by the way, goes to the Giants. That's for Matt Bodner. There you go, Matt. Thanks for watching, everybody. So it looks like I'm getting a PS3 or a PS4. Characters, pro athletes who look like Pixar characters is a thing. So we've learned a, we've learned a lot in this break. I think we've learned a lot in this break. Let's alphabetize your names. Remember, uh, two teams, one entry, four teams, two entries, six teams, three entries. Warzone is a blast, says Fred. Joseph says P just go PS4. All right, all right. 
Looks like we're mo we're also a mostly a PlayStation family. Not too much love for the for the Xbox. All right, John with two right there. Darren, David, EA, Jeff, Joe, Michael, Ryan. And Steve. All right, just spot checking here. All right, I think it looks good. All right, so um, hundred dollars total, two uh, fifty dollar break credits after ten times five and a five. One, two, three, four. Tune in next video to see what Joe gets. Is that a good tease? Seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Top two after ten, Steve and Ryan H. There you go. 50 bucks a break credit going your way. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.